Teddy and Nutcracker are the best of friends, waiting for Christmas, the night never seems to end, snow falling outside and everything's in place, all that's left is to catch a glimpse of Santa's face. So this is what I'm going to be working with today. It was going to get thrown, it's got a dead fly in the corner there, it really needs cleaning, it's got a stain there. And I just thought I can definitely do something with this. Instead of it getting thrown, I'm going to give it a new life. So I'm starting with spray paint and I'm going to give it a white coat. Pop the mask on and I will be right back. I've decided on this tissue paper. It looks quite vintage and I'm liking this. So I'm going to just stick this on here with some Mud Podge. So that's all stuck down, I did that in that compartment and the one below. And now I'm going to be taking some of this artificial snow and we're going to stick that down on the bottom here with some hot glue. And I also have this miniature tree that I'm going to stick down here in the corner. And I managed to find him in one of the thrift stores, so I'm going to stick him down. And he's really vintage, so this ties in really nicely with this project. I managed to find some paper doilies, so I'm just kind of measuring it up against the wood here so that I know where to cut, and then I'm going to also mud podge this down. Now I've found two more things that kind of look vintage, this teddy bear ornament I think I got from the charity shop as well and this also was from the charity shop and you can see the colour is kind of fading so this is perfect. I'm just going to stick these two down with some hot glue in this compartment here. So I've got these two trees and I just like the variation in lengths and also the types and the colours just to make it more interesting and I'm going to stick these down here with some hot glue as well. So I'm going to use some of this snow drape, it has silver glitter inside, just to line the base of this one here. These are some vintage cake tuppers that I managed to find in the thrift store. I'm going to just stick it on the corner there and this one here so that the tree just comes out there. I'm going to be using some of these mini wreath decorations that I got from Hobby Craft. I've got these snowflakes so I'm going to stick them in the corner with some hot glue. I might stick one up there and maybe one here. I decided on three snowflakes so you've got one here, one there and one there. This was also part of the cake tuppers pack thing that I found in a thrift store. So I'm cutting a bit off and I'm going to just stick that down with some mud podge on the back here. got these miniature baubles in three different colours so I'm going to set them up in different positions and in different places again making it as interesting as possible and we're going to stick those down with hot glue. So next you're going to be taking this pearl garland and I got this from Poundland to make it look more vintage and more beautiful we're going to just glue a strip down here and here. You can see I've covered the whole border of the wood with the pearl garland. I think that's just coming along beautiful. It's definitely transformed it. So I found this other piece in one of my thrift finds and I thought this is just perfect and I'm going to hot glue that in the centre there. This is all stuck down now. I did use E6000 as well just to make sure that's all secure. To make this look more luxurious and vintage, I'm going to add some feathers and stick that down with some hot glue just like that. 
And then I'm going to take one of these nutcrackers, I think this one here with the blue. And this is a final touch now, we're going to position him just in the corner there. And of course stick him down with some hot glue as well. And here's a finished DIY. Isn't this so cute? I am just loving these Christmas DIYs. I'm so excited for them and to create them and just to keep getting these videos out to you all. And this is definitely one of my favourites. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more. And if you fancy this unique one-off art piece for your home or a special gift for a loved one, I am selling it, though I really do love this. I just simply don't have the space anymore. So you can email me if you'd like to purchase it. It's $24.99 with free postage and packaging. My email is in the description box. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!